over the course of our 200 episodes, some of the most powerful stories we've shared have been the testimonies of former abortion industry workers, people who have been on the inside and got out. I couldn't stay quiet. I was very vocal when I saw things going wrong, and I was known for that. You know, if I see something going wrong, I will say it. We spoke with former Planned Parenthood director Myra Rodriguez in September 2019, one month after she won $3 million in a lawsuit against the abortion giant for being wrongfully terminated. Rodriguez worked at Planned Parenthood for 17 years and was fired after raising ethical and legal breaches happening there. So where is Rodriguez today since leaving the abortion industry? To find out, let's speak to her directly. Joining us now on Skype is Myra Rodriguez, former Planned Parenthood director turned pro-life advocate. Myra, welcome back. It's been over a year since I've last spoken with you and since your lawsuit victory. So much has changed since then, and I understand you are on a mission to make abortion unthinkable. Can you tell us a little bit more about your pro-life work today? Yeah, believe it or not, Catherine, my life has been busy from home, right? We all stayed at home all this year. The pandemic made it a little harder, but we made it through. I've been cooperating with a lot of organizations across the globe, especially in Latin America, since it's been an attack on legalizing abortion from Mexico to Argentina. So we're working um, every day, all the time, just sharing my testimony. Wow. Myra, after leaving the abortion industry, you have been working hard, as you shared, to expose Planned Parenthood. What should everyone know about Planned Parenthood? You know that they harm women. They have women during the abortion. The abortion is a business for them. The abortion industry, it's a giant, multimillionaire industry that doesn't care about women that they advertise that they're caring for women, but they are not. Their main goal is money and money. Mm. Myra, as you reflect on your journey, working at Planned Parenthood for 17 years, being wrongfully terminated, winning your lawsuit against Planned Parenthood, what do you believe is the mission that God has you on right now? You know, for the longest, Catherine, it took me a while to understand how I was so blind. You know, and then the lovely priest that has been my spiritual guidance in Phoenix made me understand that I had to go through all that to, to do God's work today, you know, to spread the, the word, to spread the truth about abortion, and then hopefully women will see it unthinkable. That's so powerful, and it sounds like you've been so busy looking ahead. Myra, what can we expect from you and your pro-life work in the future? You know, to work with all the organizations that work for life, you know, to help the teens um, not think as abortion as an option, you know, to make it unthinkable from home, you know, to tell our young kids at home that life is precious from the moment of conception through the natural death. Mm, that's incredible. And can you just share a little bit more, Myra, about what are some things that you're doing to share the truth about Planned Parenthood? That's quite a battle. Yeah, it has been. So, for example, in Latin America, I work with some of the people in the Mexican Congress to express the truth about Planned Parenthood. Because I don't know if most of you know this, Catherine, but Planned Parenthood exists across the globe. They just go with different names. IPPF, International Planned Parenthood, is the head of a lot of organizations in Latin America. They just change their names. So they have more affiliates than McDonald's and Starbucks. So that's how big they are. So I'm spreading the truth about who they are who they are behind those organizations that pretend to be uh, this helping women in all those uh, countries in Latin America and over the globe. That is such important work. And thank you for really opening our eyes to how Planned Parenthood, that's not just the biggest abortion business in the United States. They are throughout the globe. That's a really important mission. Hope to talk with you again soon. Myra Rodriguez, God bless you and thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Catherine. God bless you.